okay so you guys remember that i was working on this truck and um i did a video then i showed you the inside of this head then had an internal damage at the moment i show you then the head was installed on the truck and um and through the camera i was able to see uh, through the injector orifice i was able to see the damage of the cylinder head but now i have the cylinder head out and now we can see the damage better and um what you could see through the camera was these cracks over here see there's one over here there's another one over here there is another one over there and there is a very small one there then it's large as well there is nothing small about it maybe the second one then is right here that one is smaller but um that is what you saw through the camera that's important to have that stethoscope camera because we can introduce it through this orifice and see this without removing the head uh, we get the advantage to do a full diagnosis without taking the old engine apart so now we know the problem i knew then the problem was going to be somewhere around there but you have to be sure now we can clearly see them this head is almost completely destroyed because we have the same damage on cylinder number one cylinder number two cylinder number three has the same damage number four it's a little hard to see it but it's right there see and uh, we have it right there too and also we have it on cylinder number five see same damage and cylinder number six we have uh, even a bigger damage then the cylinder uh, head valve is completely pushed in you can see then it's like sucked in because uh, the seat of the cylinder valve got destroyed causing then this valve got um, all the way in you can see this other one you can see this other one how it looks but this one looks completely different see there you can see it better but yes um and i was explaining to my other videos and the problem happened because of the dpf delete and yes that is what is happening we have a dpf delete over here then caused these many problems to this engine engine still was running fine that was so very surprising about this specific problem because despite of the um cylinder damage then we have over here we still were able to uh, run the engine with no problems. The, the truck was going here and there with no problems, but you know, with consequences about overheating and some pressure on the uh, cylinder head, I mean, on the uh, coolant system. And the other problem about the uh, high crankcase pressure, well, that is because of the cylinder, but has nothing to do with this one, but anyway, with uh with this uh, we are able to appreciate the real damage of this cylinder head and uh the consequence of the dpf delete probably uh you are not going to believe this but uh probably um you never going to if you um in, if this never happens to you but i am not trying to make this up when i say that this happens because of that and um well, but, but I mean, everybody has their own opinions. I'm just saying um, what I see and uh, what I uh, I've been working all my life on these uh, trucks, and I can see that that is the reason why this happens. It is not a freeze video I do. I have some other videos about it, but um, if this happens to you, this is going to be very costly. We already. Uh, have a head for this engine so this cylinder head is trash we cannot use it anymore because it is completely destroyed so we have a used cylinder head then was rebuilt uh, by a, a third party vendor somewhere and that is going to be a leadership then buying from the dealer so um that is going to cost around like $2,500 still that is big money but it is not like $5,000 if you go to the dealer
you are going to save some money if you go to different um, alternatives. But it was good that this uh, problem happened to this cylinder head because we had some other issues over here. We can see that the uh, bearings are getting wear and this is what's going to have problems with the uh, low oil pressure on this Cummins ISX that happens mostly because of that and um, and pretty much it. But anyway, uh, we just had a little continuation to get the... Uh, to follow the other video that i did about this same truck over here and um was having that issue and uh you can see a clearer um view now on how the uh the cylinder head looks anyway uh this is all i wanted to show you just a short video about it uh any questions you just go to uh the comment section below ask me anything there um just be patient, probably uh, I will take my time to answer because I have other things to do or questions to answer. And if you want to uh, ask me anything directly, go to Instagram and um, ask me anything there. But too, you have to have patience too because I have other questions too. But, but anyway, you can contact me somehow if you have the time to do it. And, uh, and if you um, want to send support to the channel, check the description of the video. I have details how to send support to the channel continue making maybe uh, if i want to continue making videos like this i have to you know spend some money here and there if you want to help me that's fine if you don't subscribe into the channel watching my videos and uh liking the video and doing anything that is going to do a positive um uh a positive uh review or a positive uh how, how you call that um uh, hmm, uh influence to my video is going to be good anyway um I have uh, this all for you, so uh, stay tuned for the next video coming soon.